Open stump! Woodsman to rescue the idiots from their demise. Come on, friend, let them digest a little longer, eh? Make it rotten. Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma are rescued by a woodsman. Ah, everything good has to end. I'd hoped they'd melt away in there. As it is, the woodsman has salvaged their worthless hides. Now they'll want revenge. Well, let's make sure it's painful. Make it foul. Do it now! Now! 
Cows. Smelly. Naturally, but if he's going to die, let's make sure it's gruesome. Make it disgusting. Final reward, the old wolf, Tashes. <laughs> that really showed them. Now that we've made these tasty revisions, the story bears a passing resemblance to a decent tale. I mean, when a big bad wolf meets a young girl alone in the woods, what are the chances that she would escape their meeting without violence? No, no. There's no happily ever after here. Someone or something had to die. Changes had to be made, you see. No choice, really. Red, you lazy slut. Go see if the old bag's ready for the worms. If she's still kicking, steal some eggs or a piece of cheese. Don't dally! I'm starving. Come closer, my pretty doll. Small birds make tasty treats. This one has a metallic aftertaste. You wouldn't like it. I'll see you again. Not if I see you first, and my granny has a gun! Ah, oh, going to granny's, are we? Well, I'll make sure to avoid that repulsive hobble. Granny demands flowers, improves the smell of her place. She never asks where or how I get them. I'm nearly ill, I ate so much. Oh, Granny wasn't even that good. <laughs> but there's always room for dessert. Granny, you look terrible, if you don't mind me saying. But I'm pretty on the inside. <laughs> Granny, do you have your toad stabber? It's still in my apron, damn it, blood. We could have slid his gut and rolled our sorry butts out of here. What about the back door? Do you have any matches? That gas leak looks promising. Smell good, too. Alas, I've got nothing but my birthday suit. The wolf, inebriated and helpless from his recent meal, was set upon by a half-crazed bounty hunter who had been tracking him for weeks. Only by chance did Granny and Red Riding Hood escape the blade of his fearsome axe. They tumbled out of his belly, stinking, but allegedly no worse for wet. <laughs> Granny, the 
woods are nasty and wild. You should move to the village. I'd have to see your mother too often. No, thank you. And the woods are safer now. But there are still big bad wolves, and maybe you won't be so lucky next time. Worst things have happened. You might miss me. Nobody else would. Now I'll die another day. They might have survived. I doubt it. In the French version, Perrault says they both got gobbled up and digested. It warms the heart and other parts when all the creatures in a tale get what they deserve. May all our stories end so well. Until next time. <laughs>